Hi there, I'm going to show you how to take a data file, in this case the KML file, and edit it using a text editor into a, a straightforward CSV file. Okay, so here we go. We've got this KML file. This is the one we downloaded using a location history. And you can see it's got a bunch of stuff up here at the, at the very top. This is all called the header, and we basically just want to get rid of that. So I'm going to here I've opened it in Text Wrangler. You can see here's the app I'm using. And what I'm showing you right now is how to use a regular text editor to change the data from one format into another format. Now, if I was to do this for real, like with a really large data set, I'd probably write a program. But for data sets that have maybe 20,000 lines, something like that, I would use a text editor like this. Text Wrangler works. I've done this in Microsoft Word. You can use the Google uh, Document Editor. There's a bunch of different tools you can do. If you're going to use a lot, I would probably try to learn Emacs, which runs on Linux and stuff like that. But for this kind of application, we're just going to show you how to use a pretty generic text editor, in this case, Text Wrangler. So I'm going to select the very top of it. You see all this stuff up to about here. I'm just going to delete it. Bang, gone. Okay. Now I've got one blank line. I'm move down one and delete that blank line. I've got one extra thing there, that altitude mode, I'm going to get rid of all that jazz. I don't need that jazz either. Okay, delete the first line. Now, here's the essential step. What I'm going to do is to take this stuff that's in some weird format and try to convert it into a timestamp, a, a date stamp rather, a comma, a timestamp, comma, a latitude, comma, a longitude, comma, and an altitude. Is that right? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. First off, you see this thing that says bracket when bracket? I've highlighted it right there. I want to delete all of those. So what I'm going to do is Command F, and what that's going to do is bring up this replacement window here. Okay, I'm going to shrink it down to fit it a little bit. And what I want to do in this case is to search for bracket when bracket. I want to replace it with nothing. Now, Text Wrangler gives you the option to wrap around. And what I want to do now is not to find, but to replace all. So I'm going to click here and watch what happens over here on the left. Bang, all gone. Okay. So now we see there's a, a backslash a slash when at the very end here. Okay, right like that. I'm going to leave that to the very last step, and I'll tell you why, or nearly the last step. But I've got something else here. GX colon coordinate. Let's do the same thing here. I'm going to do GX colon coordinate. I'm going to replace it with uh, nothing. I'm going to say replace all. Zoop, like that. Cool. Now, we've, you see now at the end of each line, we've got the when closing tag and the backslash GX word closing tag here. Now, the reason I want to save those a little bit is that what I want to do is to create time, date, comma, time, comma, latitude, comma, longitude, comma, altitude then a new line, okay? So what I want to do is to replace this thing, this slash backslash, uh, this slash when with a comma. So what I'm going to do is say find slash when like that, replace it with comma space. I always do comma space because it's sometimes a little easier for things to look at, work out. Also, it's just easier to read. So cuts. Replace this. Now watch what happens. Replace all. Zip. Now I'm starting to build up the comma-separated variable format. Okay. I've just replaced that. So now what I want to do is, let's see here. Um, what I want to do now is delete this GX chord thing like that. So I'm going to do that again. Slash GX colon chord. Now, when I'm thinking through this, what I want to do is to end up with everything on one line for the data value, but not the next line. You see what I mean? Okay. So here, what I want to do is not replace it with a comma, but just replace it here with just nothing. I think that's fine. Let's do that. Zip. Got that. Okay. So now we've got everything except this funny thing where I've got a comma, and I want to delete the, the carriage return or the new line. How do I do that? Um, there are a lot of ways to do it in different text editors. I'm going to show you now for Text Wrangler. Different editors have different ways of doing it. I'll show you for this. In this case, what I want to do is search for comma and then 
backslash n, and that's the special character that means new line. So in this case, I want to replace that comma new line, and that's what we see here. So we see the comma at the end of that, and then the fact that it goes to line 2 here means that there's an implicit character or an invisible character there called new line. So when I say find comma backslash new line, replace it with comma space, that will have the effect of putting line 2 at the end of line 1 and doing that all the way down through the whole data file. Okay, let's try that. Replace all. Voila, there we go. So now we've got this beautiful data file that has a date, a time, a bunch of long time, comma, a longitude, space, latitude, space, altitude. Okay, and I don't want the spaces, so what do I do? I want to replace the spaces, so I find a space and replace that with a comma space. Now the comma space is nice because, you again, we'll be able to see it. So let's do that, replace all. And that worked great, except I forgot I've already had a comma in there. So see that double comma? This is the kind of thing you do all the time. So I want to get rid of that, so I want to look for double comma and replace it with a single comma, just like that. Okay? Replace all. Boom. There we go. Now, let's check out line number one. We've got a, time, a date, a time, a latitude, a longitude, and an altitude. That's looking pretty good. But now I want to separate the time, which is this part right here, t0 blah 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 blah, that's the time. And I want to separate that from the date. Handily, they formatted it so there's a t there. Okay, so now if we look for a t, and I want to place that with a comma space, that's going to add the comma between the date and the timestamp. See that? Okay, we're almost done. We've got the date in one column, the time in another column, and then we've got the longitude, the latitude, and so on. But now we want to see, you see that right there? Minus 08 colon 00. That's the time zone offset from GMT. You can go look it up in the KML specification, but that's what it is. In this case, I just want to get rid of it. It's a kind of a constantly repeating thing. I'm just going to say minus 08 colon 00. And I want to replace it with nothing. Just get rid of it, all right? Click, replace all. There we go. Now let's check this out. We've got our date, comma, our timestamp, comma, and our longitude, comma, and our latitude, comma, and an altitude. This looks great. Now I'm going to scroll down real, real quick and do a sanity check just to make sure everything looks fine. And the reason I've got those comma spaces in there is it visually lines up and you can start to see if anything's out of whack. This all looks fantastic. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Aha! We found a bug. There was some footer material here which we did not delete. So now I'm going to delete that with a, with a delete key. And now we've got 3649 rows of nicely formatted data. Did that make sense? This is a video, so you can go back and replay through any step you wanted. But basically what we did, we took the pure text file, and we deleted all the header, we deleted the footer, and we replaced all the funny special characters by comma space. And I think that gives you a nice CSV. So the last step here is save as, because remember I don't want to clobber my KML file. Save as, in this case I'm going to change it from KML to CSV, and everything else there is fine. Save. Yeah, I've already done this once. <laughs> okay, there you go. I hope that answers your question. If it doesn't, write to me, and I'll do another one of these.